going? Oh, hi. We are uh, taking the head down to Northwest right now. And they're going to tell us if I need new valves. They're going to pressure check it. I'm hoping it just needs decked. And cleaned. And cleaned. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape. And it, it seemed to be a low mile engine. I mean, the head right now is dirty, but... some other guys that, that run Northwest products, I guess you'd call it, and uh, they're, they're nice, man. I like the stuff, so this is, this is the house where magic happens and beams of light on windshields. Alright guys, so I know our last video stated that we would be assembling the head and showing you what parts are going in it for this video, but it's still in the machine shop. This stuff takes time. You can't rush art. So instead, we're going to show you some older content on a custom MR2 gauge cluster. We filmed this probably about eight months ago on a camera that did not have a wide angle, so bear with us if things are up close and personal. But it's great content. Check it out. All right, so I'm just gonna use the original cluster cover itself. It's real scuffed up right now, kinda ready to prime. I'm gonna go wash it off with some soap and water. I ran into an issue here, and my plans did not work out like I wanted them to. This was my cardboard template. I wanted to fit all of the gauges I wanted, you know. I, I feel like they're all necessary in their own way but this was all freehand so the actual gauge itself was much bigger and came to realize that I could only fit four gauges in here and attack so four 50 millimeter gauges or two inch and one three and a half inch tack in the center and that it looked okay but I, I was hoping that I could get more stuffed in there and actually the cluster cover itself is uh, you know an extra two inches bigger than the this backing plate back here so I was able to fit at least two more so I'm gonna roll with this That worked great. Yeah. So luckily I have another one of these. I went online, did some research on how to cut or drill into plastic safely without breaking things. Hear me out here. So you run the bit in reverse. In reverse? Yeah, run it in reverse. In a forward motion, the teeth on the bit they grab into whatever it is you're drilling and that's how you drill through things, right? But on plastic, you spin this thing fast enough in reverse that you're literally just melting through it. And it worked great. So here was my first test run. I got to three, started on my fourth and it just, it hooked in there just right and whipped this thing around. It smacked my leg and shattered. <laughs> 
So I'm thankful to have another one of these. Um, I think this plan is going to work out the best. Originally, I wanted to put it in the cluster, post it on Instagram, you know, get trying to get some different ideas. And a few people said put it in the cluster, it'd look clean. A few others said to do it on the outside. I do agree that inside the cluster would look nice, but for the the convenience of holding everything that I I want. Well here I can get everything in. This was my original drawing um, and it was just free handed. These are not to scale but there's a total of let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten gauges here and I got nine on the cover so what I'm going to skimp out on is the speedometer. I don't really need a speedometer you know, you can use your GPS on your phone if you need to. Um, but I feel like all of these other gauges are going to be a uh, necessity. All right, got all the gauges in. Yeah, it's all pretty categorized in here. I have the power wire all shrink wrapped together. There's a ground here. Uh, let's see, daytime lights, white, and nighttime will be amber. And then these will all branch off to their own uh, sensors. Now it's time to get to some soldering. the red wire. It's a red and then kill your ignition real quick. That has power. So that one would work too. What if one of these is like it's sending power to like the fuel gauge or it's sending power to like the temp gauge or the volt gauge. So we can't find a, a good source on a schematic so what we're going to do is find our sense wire for fuel level in this green stack. Find power in the dash and see if one of those is coming from the fuel pump to make our fuel gauge go up. We got our wired up. So, all we have wired that is functioning right now is the uh, fuel gauge, volts, the volt gauge, and right now we are getting ready to hook up the tack. That's all I can do right now, being that this is still the stock 5S FE engine. Um, all the other sensors will get plugged, you know, from here to the sensor to the Honda ECU. So these are just gonna chill for now. Yep. Right on. And we were able to find all the plugs we needed off the existing harness? Yep, cluster harness. We yep. just clipped the ones we needed. Yep, and they're temporary because we're gonna have to take this out again. We'll do actual connectors or, or solder joints once it's all done in the final uh, draft. These things are tucked up in there, dude. Oh, f <laughs> oh, shoot. What's happening? We had Brody cut this uh, down to size. Yeah, I trimmed the whole edge with the hand grind. Because it was, it was hitting on the gauge cluster uh, with the original size, so we had to take off like half an inch for it to be able to suck up in here. We cut the edge of this something oh right here just ever so slightly where it kind of tapered out like this factory so I cut it flush with this it all fits together and uh, cutting 
plastic stinks really bad. Running that angle grinder on it was <laughs> the death wheel. Ten thousand RPMs of molten yeah. plastic melting and it's slinging in your face and drying by the time it hits it's pretty awesome but this is uh it's gonna look pretty good and it's custom as custom gets all the gauges you need in the dash which is pretty rad some some might argue wanting a uh speedometer i can under you <laughs> dude i need a i need a speedo Yeah, let that one turn orange. That tack seemed it's a different series of gauge. Oh, I see they're a little different a little different color. Uh-huh. And so like on its startup it changes, but the tack works. And then nighttime. That's sick, pro sport. Hey, they gave me a koozie for spending with them. <laughs> well, that was fun. Whoever can guess how much I spent on these gauges, we will send you, yes, we will send you a free shirt. But you gotta do two things. And those two things are? You gotta be subscribed and you need to follow our Instagram page. Precisely. Sounds like a winner. Bye. Alright guys, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Sticking around to the end. You guys are the best. Leave a comment down below on how much you think these gauges cost in total. Whoever is closest or on the money, we will pick you and we will send you a free shirt.